over to the high flow uh, check valve, which in this case is connected by the two hose clamps. And we picked this up from uh, our Riggins company down the road. We're in a farming community, so we have uh, a lot of good uh, parts suppliers here. And in this case, we've used a commercial strength high flow check valve. So it allows it to go through, but does not allow it uh, to go back. And then here we have the uh, disconnection here. Another one to bring that in. What we saw this morning and what my uh, father Jack uh, has calculated to be approximately just using these six uh, uh, Waterford gaps, uh, manually instructed uh, or constructed rather, six fuel cells or the, the difference being that we went more with the Tesla patent and like I said before we did not use plexiglass. We use two steel bolts that go from the, the uh, plastic lid down to almost the bottom of this uh, ball mason jar. And uh, it calculated it to be about a 24.8% uh, increase in uh, miles per gallon. And the difference being that um, now we have decided to add more electrolyte to each jar, so instead of using just one teaspoon of baking soda, we have added uh, two teaspoons of baking soda to each jar, and uh, we're going to check. It's, it's, it's cool to the touch. This is a heat shield, so uh, we were concerned about the heat. Uh, so far, it's not been an issue, and uh, now that we've added two teaspoons per jar of baking soda as an electrolyte. Uh, we will test that by driving it around. We may then test the, uh, the gas mileage uh, percentage increase uh, performance to see if we get even more uh, percentage increase in, in gas mileage and then we'll take it to maybe uh, three teaspoons of uh, baking soda per, per fuel cell or per, per bottle here each one having the 24 ounces of uh, distilled water and uh, take it all the way up eventually to the uh, maximum of uh, what we understand to be maybe four teaspoons of baking soda or electrolyte to each jar. So I'm not a mechanic, uh, my father's the mechanic and that is as simple as it gets. I'll try to get a closer view On this 1976 Chevy pickup truck. Now this is a uh, newer engine. This engine is only I think two or three years old. And he just calculated the uh, miles per gallon increase today. And we certainly think all the, the aforementioned uh, websites and the people that have uh, other people who have put up video clips on YouTube and websites on the internet to encourage experimentation and research in uh, using uh, water for gas or ground gas or hydrogen or hydroxy whatever you want to call it we certainly thank the uh, water for gas people for their new uh, updated modification of the system which is saves a lot of uh, tubing. So now that we've added the uh, two tables, or the, uh, yeah, the two teaspoons, now they're at two teaspoons of baking powder per fuel cell. Uh, as I said, we'll go one teaspoon at a time, drive it, check the, the cooling, make sure that, you know, it's not going to overheat and melt the plastic lids on each jar. This is a heat shield that has seemed to you know, not uh, be a problem so far as far as uh, heat. 
And again, this is connected into the, uh, the battery here. So we sure do thank the uh, people that have put this out because so far it appears that we have an uh, approximately 24.8% increase in gas mileage or miles per gallon. And we hope that with the addition of more electrolyte to each jar, to each fuel cell, that would be instead of just one teaspoon of baking soda, the two teaspoons of baking soda per jar. We're going to hope and we're going to test for it to see if we'll get an even better miles per gallon increase using water for gas. So uh, much appreciation to the water for gas people, gas uh, freedom.info people, and uh, the toolsforfreedom.com website and all those other great people on YouTube uh, who have taken the time to make video clips to show that uh, uh, their research and experimentation with uh, water for gas has, uh, has paid off. Thank you.